So if you're wondering which tool performs the best in ultra realism of human images, so yeah, you're in the right place because today in this video, we're gonna go ahead and compare two of the most famous tools which are stable diffusion and mid journey in ultra realism. So we're gonna run through different types of human images in ultra realism, which will include short types, photography types and lighting types. And we're gonna go in depth to compare ultra realism in two of the most anticipated tools. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and see which tool performs the best. All right guys, so here we have Stable Diffusion XL Turbo on the left side, which we are using in Comfy UI. And on the right side, we have Mid Journey V6, all right? So if you talk about uh, in Stable Diffusion, so here is, first of all, we have the prom box in Stable Diffusion. Then we have the option to input negative prom. And in that, you can clearly see I have input a universal negative prom, which will work on basically everything, okay? And then we have few parameters of width, height, and bat size, which I have selected as four. Then we have a few more parameters, also which contain seed, steps, CFG. So I've taken CFG value as two, because in human portraits, we're gonna vary that differently, uh, depending upon the shot types, like how much uh, close you want your images to be. So we're gonna vary from two to three for our CFG value, okay? So yeah, and then uh, if you talk about uh, mid journey, so it's a very intuitive interface. So it just offers you uh, the prompt box where you type imagine and type in your prompt right away, okay? So yeah, now let's start uh, the comparison. So we're gonna go ahead and compare ultra realism of humans uh, in different scenarios. So we're gonna talk about short types, photography types, and lighting types, okay? So first of all, let's just go ahead and discuss short types and that we have three different categories of close-up shot, half body shot and full body shot, okay? So before that, if you're wondering like what would be uh, the prompt formula for both of the AI tools, obviously, the prom formula is gonna be different as you guys can see right over here. So we have different prom formula for stable diffusion and similarly we have different for mid journey. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and have different proms, but you know the subject, the lighting, the every detail is gonna be the same. That means our prom will be tweaked depending on which tool we're gonna generate the image from, okay? So yeah, if you are wondering how do you do that, it's very easy, you, you can simply do that uh, with the help of chat, GPT, and Copilot right over here, as you guys can see. So you can use a little bit of your prompting skills and the Copilot is gonna generate uh, the prompts for you for different tools, but with the same subject and same everything, okay? So yeah, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and do the close-up shot. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and tie it in a prompt, a close-up shot of a man's face. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put our prompt for both of the AI tools. So you guys can see both of our tools are generating the results for us. So yeah, if you compare uh, both of the close-up shots uh, of um, stable diffusion and mid journey. So on left, we have stable diffusion. So check out the detail in that, you know? This looks really, really fantastic. Like everything is top notch to the point. Similarly, if you take a look at the mid journey, so, you know, Mid Journey provided a bit of different lighting because as that was in the prompt, but other than that, both of the tools provide absolutely fantastic results for our close-up shot of a man's face. Okay, so yeah, this is really, really good. I really like the detail in Stable Diffusion, like check out little lining, like little face detail under the man's eye. And similarly, if you take a look at Mid Journey, so yeah, check it out. We have small pores of mud, so yeah, this looks really, really good. Like, both of the results are absolutely fantastic, right? All right, so then next, we're gonna go ahead and discuss, like, which tool will perform better uh, in half body shots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly the same. Take prompt uh, with the same subject. So the prompt is gonna be a half body shot of a woman uh, playing the piano. So I've already tweaked the prompt, so I'm just gonna simply put it in stable diffusion and mid journey. So yeah, check out the results you guys. So here we have a half body shot of a woman playing the piano. So yeah, here we have stable diffusion results. Yeah, check out the detail, check out the clothes. Everything is top notch. Like I don't see any uh, such kind of deformation in the fingers and details in the piano look really, really good as well. And if you talk about the face, so yeah, uh, her eyes are closed. Maybe she is playing piano, that's why, but other than that, everything looks really, really good over here. But on the other hand, the mid journey ones, I don't know, uh, it's lacking a bit clarity. Maybe I should need to upscale this image, I don't know, but other than that, the lighting, you know, you can see the background, the focus, the portrait effect is too good. And similarly in Stable Diffusion, yeah, this looks really good, but if I have to call a winner, I would say Stable Diffusion did a really good job in the half body shot, okay? 
All right, so next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and compare a full body shot now for our shot types. And uh, for that, I've selected a full body shot uh, of a man dancing in the street. Okay, so let's just see how it turns out. All right, so here you go, guys. So we have a full body uh, shot of different AI tools, a stable diffusion and mid journey is all left yet. Uh, this looks really, really good. Like, uh, it's lagging a bit clarity. I don't know, maybe I messed up with the CFG value, but other than that, the detail, the background, the bokeh effect, you can see the fingers. Yeah, it's doing a pretty handsome job for stable diffusion. And similarly, if you see mid journey, so yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Like check out the reflection in the water down there is doing a fantastic job, right? But uh, if I talk about clarity in that, it's a bit missing, but uh, you know, the bokeh effect, the neon effect in the picture looks absolutely fantastic. So does the stable diffusion. This looks really, really good. So if I have to call a winner, I think both tools uh, did pretty good job, okay? All right, so next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump to photography types in ultra realism, and we're gonna talk about studio photography portrait photography and fashion photography, all right? So uh, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and compare studio photography. So I've chosen a studio shot of a model posing with a vintage motorcycle, okay? So I'm gonna type my prompts in both of these AI tools and let's just check out the result. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, so we have stable diffusion and mid journey output. So take a look at the result of stable diffusion. Like it actually looks like a studio photograph. Like check out the lighting, everything. We talked in a prompt like we have to take a bit of a vintage look in that, but you know, as it was of studio photography. So yeah, stable diffusion did absolutely fantastic job, no doubt in that. But on the other hand, if you talk about mid journey one, so it kind of, uh, you know, like pushed a lot more uh, to the vintage side. And I'm not sure if that's looking studio one, maybe uh, that could be some kind of a lighting in studio, but yeah, the results, the clarity looks really, really good that we have a vintage look in that. We have a kind of a studio shot in that as well. But if I have to call a winner, Stable Diffusion absolutely nailed uh, the studio photography, right? Okay, next on the photography type, we're gonna talk about portrait photography. So I've chosen a portrait of a chef uh, in the kitchen. So I'm gonna type both of my prompts in both of these AI tools and let's check out the results. All right, so take a look at the results, you guys. So on left, we have stable uh, diffusion output and yeah, this looks really, really good. Like it's looking like a portrait photography. We, we have a very little bokeh effect in the background, which looks really, really good. So yeah, every detail on the shirt, on the apron, looks absolutely fantastic. And yeah, the result is really, really good. And if we talk about mid journey ones, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Like check out the detail, uh, take a look at some scars on the forehead, like detail in the hair, in the beard. This looks absolutely fantastic. Like if I have to call a winner. So Mid Journey did absolutely fantastic job in the bokeh effect as well, in the clarity of the image. Like everything looks top notch for our portrait photography, right? Okay, so next, last one our photography type, we have fashion photography. So yeah, I've chosen fashion short of a model walking down the runway. So I'm gonna type my prompts in both of the AI tools and let's check out the result. All right, so check out the results. So on left, uh, we have a fashion shot of a model walking down the runway. So we have very rich lighting in that. And you know, every detail, uh, the skin color, everything looks absolutely perfect as you guys can see. And on the right, we have the output of mid journey. So yeah, it provided uh, it also provided kind of a studio light, a different type of output, but if you talk about the detail in the face, uh, the background, we have lights, so yeah, this looks really, really good. It looks kind of intense, but on the other hand, the, if we talk about the accuracy of the runway and how the fashion uh, photography works, so for that, I will give credit to Stable Diffusion on that for creating this kind of image, right? All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the lighting types, uh, which will include sunset light, moonlight, and neon lights, okay? So first of all, uh, for the sunset, I have taken a full body shot of a woman practicing yoga on the beach. So I'm gonna type my prompts in both of the AI tools and let's check out the results. All right, so check out the results. Uh, so we have a sunset lighting in both of the images and stable diffusion sunset looks really, really rich if you guys can see. So we have very beautiful sun in the background, all those lighting. And if you talk about the mid journey outputs, yeah, this looks really, really good. It's a bit more on the dark side, which is uh, actually fine if you talk about sunset, but yeah, the results are really, really good. Uh, especially, I really like the stable diffusion image. Mid journey, it also looks absolutely fantastic. Like we can see, 
the sand, the water, the reflection, the people in the background. So yeah, this look really, really good, right? Okay, so next uh, we have two more ties which are Moonlight and Neon Light. So I'm going to go ahead and tie both of my prompts and compare uh, Moonlight and Neon Lights and see how they go, okay? All right, so for the Moonlight, I've chosen a close-up shot of a man face sitting by a campfire with Moonlight in the background. So you guys can see the stable diffusion image looks really, really good. Like we have uh, Moon in the background, we have campfire and yeah, everything looks pretty good. But if you take a look at the mid-journey one, so this is a really good close-up shot. So we have campfire, we have an effect of moonlight. So I'll totally give credits to Mid Journey for this kind of close-up shot. So if you're looking for the close-up shot, definitely you should go for Mid Journey in all cases, okay? All right, and for neon lights, I took a half body shot of a woman standing in front of a neon sign. And for that, uh, the stable diffusion looks really, really clear, absolutely fantastic. And if you talk about the Mid Journey one, yeah, this one looks really, really good for a half body shot of a woman standing in front of a neon sign, all right? So yeah, there you have it, guys. This was uh, the exploration of comparing ultra realism between two of the most famous tools, Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey, right? So yeah, I really hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.